Is it your desire to release your counsel at this point in time? She fired. She's fired? Okay. So do you wish to represent yourself in, in, in these particular, in terms of any issues you may have in this particular? Do I got a choice? I'm sorry? Do I got a choice? Yes, you do. And what are those? You can keep your lawyer that you have right now. I don't want her. All right. You could, um, you could certainly hire, hire another lawyer or the court could appoint you a lawyer. Do what I need a lawyer for. It's just, the court is just asking you whether it's your, it's your, it's your choice, sir. I'm good. You're good? Yeah. Ms. Bumpus, did you file an entry of appearance? All right. Did you, under the Uniform Superior Court rules, file a, um, a motion to withdraw pursuant to the Uniform Superior Court rules? I mean, I, I know you give an oral notice, but usually that's being writing, and he has 10 days to object. Say again. Well, given the fact that uh, you have represented uh, Mr. Copeland at this point in time, uh, it would seem appropriate that you do need to, in fact, file a formal withdrawal. Um, even though you didn't enter one, you de facto entered this case by, by, by your representation of him. Are you telling the court that you did, in fact, represent him? So uh, at this point, I'm not inclined to release you until that's done. I'll get that done now, Judge. Okay. All right. Um, and he's got 10 days to, uh, to, to go ahead and do that. So you're still going to have to be here until I have a, till I have, um, because he gets that particular period of time to go ahead and decide whether or not he'd like to hire a lawyer. That's the whole reason for the 10 days. Well, I don't want to hire no. Uh, oh, 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 hold on, hold on. Not yet. That, you get that right as a, as a party, okay. I do get right to you do. Yes, you get that right to hire a new lawyer. You also you get the right to do a couple of things. One, to decide whether or not you will release her. Okay. Okay. Two, you get to decide whether or not you want to get a, a, another lawyer to be with you. Okay. Okay. Those are the two big things you get a chance to to kind of decide. But what I'm going to do at this point in time is, since she's representing you, I'm going to make her for, file a formal. Notice to withdraw. She's orally told you at this point in time she wants to withdraw. But you're on the stand. You're testifying at this point in time. So I'm not going to let her withdraw at this point. Well, Your Honor, I'd just like to say, I, I have, before he started testifying, I was fired. I don't know that, ma'am. That's not something that I have notice or knowledge of. So... You know, that's the whole purpose of the rule so that we can flesh out all those things. So at this point in time, I'm not inclined to let you go at this point. I, I'm sorry that you put yourself in this particular uh, situation with you and Mr. Melnick and whatever. But, um, you know, Mr. Copeland does have rights in this particular circumstance. So file a proper notice to withdraw. I'll give Mr. Once it's filed, if you file it today, I'll give Mr. Copeland the, the 10 days. But until such time as, as I rule upon that and he gets that and gets an opportunity to think about what he'd like to do, I'll go ahead and, uh, I'll go ahead and, uh, insist that you remain with us while he's on the stand. Okay, Joe. Okay. Uh, madam, I have one other bit, bit of business that. Can we approach? Can I approach, Your Honor? With the state? No. What does he want to tell me? I can't, I don't want to say it in open court.
All right, State, Ms. Bumpus, come on up. And I don't believe you have the right to be present, sir. <laughs> 